We're live. Good. Jordan, Todd said that you were going to put your surgery out off until after the cow game. Yeah. Um, a lot of people like to get that done as quickly as possible. They can start the recovery process. Mm -hmm. Why did you make that decision? And I just I, I want to be there with my guys in the last game. Um, you know, I I thought about you know getting the surgery this week, but. I just couldn't. I couldn't sit on the on the couch and watch my boys play and not be there and be able to help or be on a headset and and talk to those guys and help coach them up. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Jordan, right before the start of the Territorial Cup, um, you huddled up with DJ and Mike. What were you telling them before the game? And also, how special was it for them to win that game for you? Yeah, I mean that's something that we've done before every game before we you know we run out or whatever. We just come together, and I think we we live in the moment for you know that brief period of time. We just you know we tell each other we love each other as corny as it may sound, but those are my best friends, and um, you know we live in that moment for a second, and just enjoy it, and um, that's something that I'll remember forever. Doing that for every game, um, we didn't even plan on it. We just started in Texas A and M, and then it's just kind of continued every game. Besides USC, when Burko just kind of took off running, I was like, all right, I guess we're not doing it. Jordan, when you came out for senior day, you kind of threw your crutches to the side and, and went without them. Yeah. Can you just uh, walk us through that whole part of it? Yeah, I can walk you through that, um, pun intended. Um, no, I I didn't want to, you know, when I get pictures and when I look back on that moment, I don't want to see me in crutches. Um, it take a little bit of pain walking out. Um, but my adrenaline was rushing, so I didn't feel too much. Um, it was a great time. and. Um, just a real special moment. Obviously, it sucks that I couldn't play in the last game, but um, there's not a play from that UW game where I feel like I didn't give everything I had and leave everything out on that field every day, especially in practice the week before. Um, that's something our coaches always talked about, just going hard every day, and that's something I've always done. So I have no regrets. Um, Jordan, when I talked to um, Todd Graham and Chris Bowe, um, they couldn't um, help but mention how upbeat you are on the sidelines, even last week when the injury was very mm -hmm. fresh. Um, and let alone against Arizona too. Is that part of just maybe feeling the responsibility that you need to go ahead and really coach as young players and make sure that your injury is not even that much magnified every week? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we have a next man up mentality and um, James and Saul and Chad, those guys have stepped up huge, um, especially in that second half of the UW game. Um, as you guys saw, they didn't, they didn't score, so. Um, I'm just trying to do what I can and, and watch and see if, you know, and go through my reads as if I was out there and um, try to help James or, you know, whoever it may be out there um, starting, you know, in the position I've played these last two years. Um, so they've done a great job and, um, you know, the coaches give me a headset so I can hear the play call and, um, and just kind of help as much as I can. Jordan, just by chance, um, after the injury, I'm sure there's a variety of things that have gone on in your head. What kind of emotional roller coaster ride has it been to kind of deal with what you've uh, endured? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it was it was tough the first, you know, couple of days. Um, you know, luckily I had my parents in town um, to help me out with a lot of things. You know, um, you know, making me food and all that stuff. Just um, having them here has been a blessing, but. Yeah, it's, it's been rough just, you know, having it be my last year and not getting to play in the senior game. And uh, I didn't get to play against U of A one time when I was here, which is which hurt. Um, but, you know, everything kind of felt better after we whooped them this weekend. So I'm good. Jordan, how do you want your career to be remembered by Sun Devil fans? And that's a good question. I mean, I just want to be remembered as a guy that, you know, gave everything he had for his teammates and his coaches and, and – a, a passionate football player that that loves the game and um, you know I owe, I owe a lot of my success to coach Graham and coach Ball and and the, the players around me today and in, in our meetings coach Graham said you know you've made a lot of plays but you know it's all in the backs of the guys in front of you all the D-line taking up you know double team blocks so I can step in and fill a hole or a linebacker taking on a lead blocker so I can step up and make a play so um, I owe a lot of my you know success to to those guys and my teammates. Jordan, two part question: What lies ahead of you on the physical end to overcome the injury? And the second part, you know, I talked to Coach Graham about this. He says that you, ever since the injury, you 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 haven't been the one to mope or mm -hmm. be depressed, and how you've gone about it just to to stay upbeat. 
Yeah, so, I mean, I just, you know, I, I did have a couple days there where I was, you know, starting to feel sorry for myself. And, um, you know, if I felt sorry for myself when I was a walk-on, I wouldn't be where I am today. And so it's just another bump in the road and something I can overcome and something that is a part of my story and is going to be a part of my journey. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenges that this is going to give me. And um, I know the hard work isn't going to be a problem for me. Um, I'm ready to put in the hard work and, and get better, and, and I'll get a chance at the next level, and I'll, and I'll make it. Jordan, now your uh, media success is uh, well, well, well documented, but now that you uh, maybe delved a little more into the coaching uh, profession, I mean, do you think maybe that's more of a career path than uh, media? I mean, Coach Graham always tells me he wants me to be a coach, but, um, you know, I haven't really decided on anything right now. My focus is going to be on getting this knee better and um, training and getting ready to go to the next level and, and play as long as I can. Um, so that's, that's the goal, and um, I'll worry about that stuff when the time comes. Jordan, two-part Thanksgiving question. Yes. First off, uh, what's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? And secondly, what can Mike Bercovici expect from the Simone household on Thanksgiving? Whew, that's a loaded question right there. Um, favorite part of Thanksgiving has just got to be, you know, being around family. Obviously, I mean, I haven't had a Thanksgiving in a while just because football, you know, usually takes up most of that time. But my parents do have a house out here now, and they weren't going to be here. But since I got injured, my mom has stayed, I think, just to – be there for me um, and I kind of guilt tripped her by saying you're just going to leave me when I get hurt and so she's going to stay out here and make all of us Thanksgiving dinner um, you guys are all more than welcome sorry mom um, but what can Mike expect from our Thanksgiving man he can expect a lot of food the Simone's do it big uh, great turkey my mom is a probably the top five best turkey maker in um, in uh, King County, Washington. So um, just a lot of good food and a lot of good uh, laughs. Hey, Mel, uh, George, your address, like, yeah, it's uh, 14 out of the. <laughs>